Well, today we're diving into the world of UTM parameters and Google Analytics. Now, trust me, it's a lot more exciting than what it sounds like. While Google Analytics is powerful, it has some serious blind spots, and it often struggles just to tell you exactly where your traffic's coming from. Email marketing, sometimes those clicks just vanish into thin air, and fancy PDF lead magnets, well, they often get miscategorized as direct traffic, and social media posts can get lumped together into one big pile. Now, it's frustrating, isn't it? But don't worry, I've got a game-changing solution that's going to blow your mind, UTM parameters. Now, let me show you what I mean. Now, you can take your regular URL that looks something like this, and just add a few little bits of text to the end of it so it's going to look something like this. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. First things first, if you're using WordPress, you're definitely going to want to use Monster Insights. Now, once you've got that set up and connected to Google Analytics, that'll worry, it's super easy. You're going to be ready to rock and roll. Now, here's how you create those super-powered URLs. On your WordPress dashboard, just go to Insights and then to Tools. Now, you're going to fill in the details about your campaign. So, in the Website URL field, just enter the Website URL to which you want the link to go. Then, in Campaign Source field, you'll want to identify the source of the traffic. So this might be something like Facebook, or your newsletter, or search engines like Google. Now in the campaign medium field, you'll want to identify the type of marketing medium. So that would be something like email or ads or banners, for example. Then in the campaign name, just type in the specific product promotion or campaign that you're running like spring sale or however you want to label it. The next field is optional. Well, you can use a campaign term field if you're running, let's say, a paid search campaign. So it identifies keywords for your ads. Now, like the previous one, this is optional, but you can use a campaign content field if you're running A-B tests on your campaign. Now, we don't recommend using this one, but it's available. You can check this Use Fragment box, and your UTM codes will be built using fragments instead of queries, but it's available for those who prefer it. All right, once you're done, all you have to do is just scroll to the bottom to get your new URL. Now, if you want to make your URLs really clean and easy to read, Monster Insights easily integrates with pretty links so you can shorten them. All right, want to see how your campaign's doing? Well, with Monster Insights, all you have to do is just go to Reports, and then to Traffic, and then to Campaigns. Now, there, you're going to see which campaigns are driving the most traffic to your site and which ones are performing the best. So you'll see the campaign name, the number of sessions, the engaged sessions, pages sessions, purchases, conversion rate, and revenue right on your WordPress dashboard. Now, if you want to see that data in Google Analytics, all you have to do is head over to your account and then go to Acquisition and then to Traffic Acquisition. Now just change the drop down to Session Campaign and you'll see all of your campaigns listed there. And if you'd like to see the source and medium for each of your campaigns, well, you can add it to your report by just clicking the blue plus sign next to the dropdown, and then search for and select Session Source Media, and bam, all of your campaign data is right there at your fingertips. All right, now you might be asking, well, why should I even care about all this? Well, let me tell you. Number one, now you're going to know exactly where to spend your marketing budget. No more throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping something sticks. Second, you can start targeting your marketing like a real pro. Your audience is going to think that you're reading their minds. And third, your ROI is going to start to grow. You're going to see it start to go through the roof. And who doesn't want more bang for the buck? Now, if you found this breakdown to be helpful, go ahead and smash that like button and hit subscribe for more tips on understanding your website's performance. Up next, you'll definitely want to check out this video. It's a beginner's guide to UTM parameters and how you can use them. I'll see you in the next one.